Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. tell you. Mm. These are the best muffins I ever had. I'm supposed to meet a client for a house showing today, but <laughs> I can't stop eating. Maybe you know him. Mr. Nolan Cassidy? Um, can say that I do. A realtor with a taste for the sweet things in life is in Whittleton Creek to show a house to Nolan Cassidy. It looks like he's stuck at a local muffin stand at the moment. It would be a shame to keep Cassidy waiting, wouldn't it? Just in the Schmidt house down the road. You know, the one that police shut down after being well. Ah! This dumb year that keeps happening to me. Oh no, no! Sir, I will have to pat you down if you want to come through. Security measures. This is just standard procedure. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Aren't you the real Mr. Cassidy, I'm sorry for the delay. Ah, 
Take I'm ready to take you to the house. About time. Let's go. You know which one it is, right? Last one on the right, far end of the road. I hope you've got your presentation in order. I don't want this to be a waste of time. You understand me? Of course, Mr. Cassidy. I've been eyeing this place for some time. I trust we can make a quick execution here. Yes, Mr. Cassidy. This is the downstairs living room. It is most commonly used for watching television and other recreational purposes. Large room, with two easy to get to exits. Okay. Dark floors, hide stains easily. A room with lots of potential. I don't know, got anything more interesting to show me? It's all very familiar. This is the downstairs bathroom. Useful when cleaning off after a messy day of work. What about storage possibilities? Anything of that nature you could show me? The kitchen. Gas stove. Vinyl floors, which can be quite slippery when wet. Along with the bathroom, the kitchen is the most dangerous room in the home. Eh, interesting, I suppose, but not really something that seals the deal for me. Your standard garage, spacious enough for someone to set up a gym or training area with some added soundproofing an enterprising individual could use this for many things yeah that's not going to make me buy this place let's move on This is the upstairs hallway. It connects all the rooms up here. Add a few closets or a large box in a corner, and the room's practical value becomes apparent. That's all fine. Is there more to this house, though? A spare bedroom, in case you have a lot of house guests. It could also be used as an upstairs office, or a storage space with easy access to the attic above. I don't know. Got anything more interesting to show me? It's all very familiar. The attic. Not too much to say about it. It's small, tends to be prone to a leaky roof, and likely houses various types of molds. What are you talking about? I don't care about some leaky attic. Get down here. Here we have the master bathroom. Shower, toilet, double sinks. Perfect for the busy couple, and large enough to allow for privacy, even when occupied by two people at the same time. I don't know. I'm not really feeling it. Anymore. Why 
what else can you show me? Yet another room up here. I suppose you could use it as an office or recreational room of some sort. Maybe a place to store your memorabilia. Eh, interesting. It looks like something violent took place here. Hmm. Huh. The previous owner seems to have been connected with Janus somehow. The police report mentions they found him here in a pool of blood. The house has been sealed off until a few weeks ago. Death was ruled as a severe allergic what reaction. Here? Someone bled out here. Looks like a sudden hemorrhaging. Blood pouring from the mouth and nose. Possible vomiting of blood. Distance between the pools indicates the person was conscious at first, but severely shocked. Handprint on the wall corroborates this. The person lost consciousness after 20 to 30 seconds. Probably bled out in a matter of minutes. There's a strong chance this was caused by a severe allergic reaction or a straight poisoning of some sort. That's a very detailed description. Did you read the police report or something? I dabble in forensic investigation, among other things. Let's get the hell out of here. And here's the basement. The usual boiler elements are to be found down here. And it seems a room with a safe of some sort. Now that is more like it. That looks just like a vault. This, this is very good. Nice yes. work, 47. Let's hope he doesn't set off the alarm somehow. and check the garden. I want to know how visible this vault is from the outside. Anything sticking out of the ground, weird sloping things like that. You got it, sir. So you're looking to sell this for, uh, how much was it again? 1.1? Sounds about right. I suppose that's not unreasonable. And this vault unit looks quite versatile. Internal climate control and explosive laser security. All the comforts of home. Yes, quite interesting. And a nice looking safe in here too. Any idea what the previous owner was using this for? No idea. Maybe a mausoleum. Huh. That's weird. But I think I can come up with some good uses for it. All right, I think I've seen enough. No, no! The is down. Good work, Jameis awaits your attention. 